What if you could go into a lab, perform a test, and have a graph that shows the likelihood you're going to live longer than your peers? It sounds like science fiction, but today I'm actually gonna go over a test that you can do at most major hospital systems or clinics and is a key ingredient to living a long and healthy life. If we haven't met, my name is Joe Sidaway. I'm actually a doctor of physical therapy and I help older adults live their best years on their own terms. Let's dive right in. This test is called a VO2 max test. Your VO2 max is the amount of oxygen your muscles can use from your blood to make energy. So an Olympic endurance athlete is gonna have an amazing VO2 max. They're really good at taking oxygen in and using it to continue running or doing whatever their endurance sport is. And sedentary people have a really bad VO2 max. So I'll explain later on how they test this, but you need to walk or run on a treadmill or some kind of a stationary bike that can also work to get this measurement. A study looked at a group of about 112,000 people that were 53 years old on average, ran them through a VO2 max test, and then ranked them from low VO2 max all the way to elite. The results were incredible. They looked at how likely someone was going to die, whether by accident, disease, or any cause. They call it all-cause mortality. And the low VO2 max group, compared to the elite group, was 400% more likely to die. This is huge, because for frame of reference, someone with end-stage kidney disease is only 178% more likely to die than someone without it. And that means your kidneys are not working anymore. Can you imagine that? So the elite group versus the low VO2 max group is such a huge divide showing us that if you have a really high VO2 max, you are more likely to live a long, healthy life than people who've been sitting around doing nothing. The thing is the elite VO2 max group was a very small group. And luckily, you don't need to become an Olympic athlete or become elite to be able to gain benefits from this. Here's what you can do instead. The thing about VO2 max is that you have to earn it. You cannot accidentally get a high VO2 max. The testing is tough. So going in with this expectation that this is a challenge but doable will be helpful. I'm gonna give you two goals to start off with building your VO2 max. The first is 180 minutes of moderate intensity exercise each week. That's three hours total in a week. This should be intense enough that you can hold a conversation with someone, but it is not comfortable. If that sounds overwhelming, don't worry. I help people get involved with this sort of training all the time. In fact, my passion is endurance sports like running and triathlons. And I use that training to help older adults who have never exercised before. But for this video, I recommend that you start by either walking on a treadmill with a very steep incline or ride a stationary bike. Those are two easy ways to get started with that 180 minutes per week. Then you perform a four x four workout, which essentially looks like you take whatever tool you're using, the treadmill or the bike, and you go as fast as you can for four minutes, maintaining roughly the same speed. And then you go super slow and easy for four minutes. Repeat this four times and that's it. So you have 180 minutes of just base building is what they call it, where it's not super high intensity exercise, but you're kind of building the bulk of your endurance. And then we do these four by four workouts at least one time a week. That's all I would start off with. And that's building that peak or that high VO2 max segment. You wanna have a wide base and a very tall pyramid, which means I wanna have a lot of training in my week that's nice and moderate, I'm pushing myself, and then I wanna have a very high VO2 max, and that's built by that four by four workout. And honestly, that's it. Now, if that seems overwhelming, or if you feel like I don't know how to actually implement that in my life because of my schedule or whatever factors you have going on, that's a sign you need a coach. You need someone who can tell you when to speed up, when to slow down, ride out every step along the way and help give you answers to your questions. Recover Life is the place to get that help. I hope you find this helpful. If you wanna learn more about opportunities to be able to work with us, go ahead and send an email at joe at helprecoverlife.com. That email is in the description of this video if you wanna take a look. And as always, thanks for watching.